All right, did you know April 24th tomorrow is New Kids on the Block Day? It's the 35th anniversary, and we're getting to talk with one of the new kids to celebrate. Like, as in right now. Right. Danny Wood is live on Great Day at 9A, ahead of a new tour that kicks off this summer, and we are so excited to have him on Great Day at 9A. How are you, <laughs> Danny? I'm great. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. All right, we're going to say three magic words. Rose Elizabeth Wood. I know. Is she the darling of your life? Um, well, I have four grand. Oh, we didn't now, know you had I four. I can't really say that. I have Rose, Rain, and my uh, son and his wife just had twins, uh, Ray. So I'm a very happy guy. I got a full house here, and it's great. Oh, Congratulations. my God, that's fantastic. Yeah, congratulations. Grandpa. I, I, <laughs> but that just, I, you have really good genes, and um, clearly, you know, I mean, you are so talented. Uh, Dorchester native, joined the group at age 16. Can you kind of just walk us through how you ended up getting into the group? Well, it's not that great of a story. There was about seven or eight of us that auditioned for the band, and you see the five guys that ended up in the group. But we go... Uh, me, Donnie, and the Knight brothers uh, went to elementary school together, and we knew each other, and um, when the auditions came up, you know, we all just were singing and dancing. You know, I was break dancing, and we all auditioned and made it. You know, not too many people have a day, a day dedicated to them. How does that make you feel? Uh, it feels great. I mean, this has been kind of pushed forward by uh, the blockheads out there, all our fans. They have embraced this day, and so now we, we've joined them and just kind of, you know, embraced the nostalgia of it, and this is the 35th anniversary. What is it like, um, you know, sharing the stage, too, with Paula Abdul and DJ Jazzy Jeff? I, have you had a connection with them in the past and performed with them? Uh, we toured with Paula before. She's great, a super professional, um, brings it every night, very entertaining. Uh, DJ Jazzy Jeff, we did shows with him and, and Will Smith back in the day, so it's going to be great to kind of see him again and have him open up the show and, you know, warm up the crowd. And, um, you know, you got new kids, Paula Abdul and DJ Jazzy Jeff. That's a pretty good uh, show. <laughs> that is, that's a pretty yeah. good show. <laughs> All right, so you're coming to us August 2nd at the Xfinity Theater in Hartford. What are you bringing? What's coming to the, what's coming to the game? Well, we'll probably be sweating a lot. Um, <laughs> I'm assuming that. But we're planning we're planning the show now. Donnie's our creative director, so he's working hard on it and then, you know, bouncing things off of us and we're all, you know, all get our input. But it's um, you know, we gotta top what we did last time. So um a couple of years ago we did the mixtape tour and we gotta top that. What's really exciting is tickets are going on sale tomorrow at 9 a.m. There's a magic pack that includes four tickets for $89 plus fees, which is so wonderful because, you know, shows are so expensive nowadays, and this is, I think, affordable, and it's going to reach so many people who just grew up with you guys. What is it like knowing that, you know, you're bringing this magic to the stage that some people haven't experienced in three decades? Um, you know, it feels great. We're, you know, very lucky and blessed to still be doing this um, at our ages. You know, we're all in our 50s now. So I always just, when these things come along, you know, let's do the Magic Summer Tour. I'm always grateful. And I'm always, yes, let's do it. Let's go. You performed in 1991 at the halftime show for the Super Bowl. What was that experience like? Terrible. <laughs> really? <laughs> <It was> terrible. <laughs> really? How come? It, yeah. I mean, for me, it's not a great memory. We were doing rehearsing for that and also rehearsing for the American Music Awards at the same time. It was definitely too much going on at once. Oh. And it was the time, and we were the first kind of pop artist yeah. to do yeah. it. So, and Disney was kind of like the ones, you know, pushing it. And so it, you know, just, it wasn't that great. And no one saw it anyway, because the president uh, intervened at halftime and spoke about the, I believe it was the Gulf War at the oh, time. Oh, that's so, right. Um, yeah. Wow, that's unbelievable. You can see it now on YouTube, though. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and also, you guys have a, a, another album coming out in May? Yeah, May 17th, our album drops. is called Still Kids. We have our single out right now called Kids, so you can just get that on all your streaming services. Um, you know, we're very proud of it. Donnie and Joe wrote the bulk of the album, so it was easy to sing on because they wrote it for us. Um, and it's just, we're proud of it and hope, hopefully people love it. I know something, yeah, remember Betty, I know you're honoring your mother. Back in 2014, you ran the Boston Marathon alongside Joey McIntyre, ran for the Alzheimer's Association. What was that experience like? 
Uh, it was uh, the most pain I've ever been in, <laughs> for one thing, but it was just, it was the year after the, the bombing. So it was um, pretty great to be out there and um, just stand together with all the other runners and not let anything get in the way of running that race. That was my, you know, only marathon. I'm not doing another one. <laughs> I'm not really a runner. I like to run, but I'm not really a runner. But it was a great experience, and I raised a lot of money for the foundation. That's Which is great. terrific. Yeah, no, you're just doing a marathon of tours. That's all. No yeah, big exactly. deal. exactly. <laughs> and how can we find out more information about your nonprofit? Um, it's rememberbetty.com um, or uh, Remember Betty on uh, Instagram. Um, my mother passed away in 1999 with breast cancer. Mm -hmm. And since then, I've been trying to keep her legacy alive. And you can go there. All the proceeds go to breast cancer patients. There's no employees, no nothing. It all goes to, um, you know, people that need help, you know, getting treatment. So, um, you know, I've it's a passion of mine. So hopefully people can just go to Remember Betty. All right. Well, the tour kicks off June 14th in Ohio. We wish it was here in Hartford, <laughs> but we're so grateful that you're coming to Hartford. We no. can't wait to see you. I can't wait to be there. You know, August 2nd in Hartford, it's going to be great. Um, we'll be sweating and playing all the hits and a little bit of the new music, but uh, definitely all the hits. All right. Really, really quick. We got to go, but I have one last question for you. What is your favorite hit to perform? Um, the, I have the luxury of not having to pick one. <laughs> I have, like, I, there's so many that I love, you know, the older, the new ones. I mean, if I had to pick one song that's special to me, it's probably I'll Be Loving You Forever. Yeah. I helped record that. I engineered a little bit of it, and I got to bring a cassette home to play for my mom before anyone really had heard it, and she thought it was a hit record, and just oh. a great memory for me. Oh. Thank you, Danny. We thank so appreciate you. your time. We'll, we'll see you on tour. See you in August. Okay, thank you, guys. Take care. All right, we're going to take a break.